Hello everyone. Uh, today I will be delivering a report on the influence of artificial intelligence on the healthcare sector. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ali Haider. I am basically a pharmacist, medical writer and trainer. As I uh, discussed uh, today, I will be um, delighted to have you here today. Let's discuss how artificial intelligence is relevant additions to the healthcare and biopharmaceuticals as well as the medical device industry. We also explore the opportunities and challenges that come with this transformational technology. Introduction. Here are some key points about AI. It refers to machine capability to perform activities that typically require human intelligence such as reasoning, learning, decision making and problem solving. AI has made significant progress in recent years due to the emergence of big data, powerful computing, and sophisticated algorithms. As far as AI application in healthcare industry is concerned, there are many applications of artificial intelligence in the healthcare industry. Uh, artificial intelligence has made significant strides in the production of the healthcare and biopharmaceuticals as well as the medical device industry. Here are some uh, ways artificial intelligence is helping. Uh, first of all, disease diagnosis. Uh, it, artificial intelligence can analyze medical images, electronic health records, laboratory tests, and other data to accurately detect diseases, including cancer, diabetes, and alzheimer's in a timely manner. Artificial can also assist clinicians with treatment recommendations and, and differential diagnosis. As far as the drug discovery is concerned, artificial intelligence can screen millions of molecules, predict their properties and interactions and designs. Novel computing to develop research, researchers discover new drugs. Additionally, artificial intelligence can optimize drug dosages, delivery methods and formulations. Uh, clinical trials, artificial intelligence can help design and conduct clinical trials by selecting the most suitable participants, monitoring their adherence and outcomes and analyzing the results. Artificial intelligence can also reduce the time and cost of clinical trials by utilizing real-world data and synthesized control arms. Artificial applications in the healthcare industry, uh, as far as manufacturing is concerned, artificial intelligence can optimize production processes, ensure quality control, and detect abnormalities to streamline pharma manufacturing. Additionally, artificial intelligence enables self-healing supply chain applications that can adjust to demand fluctuations and disruptions. Product intelligence, artificial intelligence can collect and analyze data from sensors, feedback systems, and user interactions to monitor and improve the performance and safety of medical devices. Artificial intelligence can also provide personalized guidance and support to users based on their needs and preferences. There are just few ways artificial intelligence is benefiting the healthcare, biopharmaceuticals, and medical device industry. Challenges and risk of artificial intelligence. When there is a technology, there may be some risk uh, when you, you have to keep in mind prior to integration artificial intelligence into clinical practice. Artificial intelligence has enormous potential to improve the healthcare, but it is important to take into account the following challenges and risks prior to fully integrating into clinical practices. Data quality, artificial intelligence relies on large amounts of data to learn and improve its performance. However, data quality can be inconsistent and poor data quality can lead to errors, biases, or misleading results. Data privacy, artificial intelligence involves collecting, storing, sharing, and processing sensitive personal data from patients, customers, or users. There, this raises ethical and legal concerns about data ownership, consent, security, and protection. Data privacy breaches can expose individuals to identity theft, fraud, discrimination, or harm. Transparency, artificial intelligence often operates as a black box that does not explain how it reaches its CN or recommendations. This can make it difficult for clinicians, patients, customers, or users to understand trust or challenges the AI outputs. Transparency is essential for ensuring accountability, responsibility, and fairness.
challenges and risk of AI, human expertise, uh, artificial intelligence is not suitable for human expertise, but a tool that can augment it. it clinicians still need to exercise their professional judgment and skills when using AI in diagnosis or treatment. Patients still need to have a meaningful relationship with their caregivers. Customers still need to have choice over their products or services. Human expertise is vital for ensuring quality, safety, and satisfaction. Overcoming challenges and risk. To address the challenges and risk associated with AI in healthcare, we must take a multi stakeholder approach. This includes collaboration between researchers, developers, regulators, providers, patients, customers, users, and society at large. In this way, we need to establish clear uh, standards and guidelines and policies that govern the development, validation, and deployment of AI in the healthcare, pharmaceutical, and devi medical device industries. Finally, investing in education and training for clinicians and citizens is crucial to improving their awareness and skills in using AI effectively and responsibly. Conclusion. Uh, to sum up, AI has the potential to transform healthcare, biopharmaceuticals, and the medical device industry by refining the disease diagnosis, drug discovery, clinical trials, manufacturing, and product intelligence. Nevertheless, AI presents certain challenges and risks such as data quality, data privacy, transparency, and the need for human expertise. We must overcome these obstacles through a cooperative approach by setting clear standards and guidelines and investing in education and training. By doing so, we can unlock the power of AI and improve patient care along with their quality of life. You can contact me at that's 923005341906 or my email address is ali.denong at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you very much for your precious time. See you next, next time. Take care. Bye.